when you're not no i want the full on lean on me when you're not strong Welcome everyone to week three of Quidditch UK Does Taskmaster. Uh, this week I'm joined by James King Nickel, our QK team. How are you doing, James? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yes, very good. Eager to see what people have been coming up with this week. So to remind ourselves of this week's task, it is please don't stop the cruising. Come up with your own version of the Taskmaster theme song. Now, if I remember right, you had some advice for this for people. What was your you remember your advice there as well? Yes, yeah, yeah. My my advice for people, my pro tip was basically I want commitment. You know, I don't want to see someone you know singing like "Lean on Me" when you're not. No, I want the full on "Lean on Me" when you're not strong. It's just much more entertaining that way, and that that's what I'm looking for. So that's why I wanted commitment. I wanted people's energy just all dialed up to eleven. Very nice, very nice. So let's. Uh take a look at our entries. So the first entry is Bristol, and Bristol decided uh, to give and uh, choose a classical song that has a sense of urgency as the basis for their theme song. So let's take a look classical at the classical song. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but I uh, struggled to hear the lyrics on that as it was played. Yes. I was going to say, I did say that I want a commitment, and they did, to be fair, they do look committed, especially the guy in the hood and like, well, and the, the guy playing the guitar and stuff. But, you know, you, you can see you can see the energy levels of the guy in the hood because his mouth is literally working full time, which yeah. is really good, but it would just be really good if we could like actually hear what they were saying. Um, no, afraid not. I did write the lyrics down, though, if we take a look at the. Other yeah, but this this is the thing. But like, this is giving us supplement supplementary materials just so that we know what they're saying in the first place. Which you know, it wouldn't it just be easier if we could just listen to the song. Yeah. So, like, here come the tasks. These tasks are hard. Well, all seem to be well. You're not making it easy for yourself, guys. <laughs> like, all seem to be hard to complete. Taskmasters here, bringing the fear. Clubs all around. Try to astound with comedy and a sporty tea. We taste the cup as scores go up. What will come next? Who even cares? These tasks are dumb. I want my mum. Oh. I'm not going to stand for the slandering of, of the tasks that way. Taskmasters put a fire in these tasks. They're not dumb. Anyway. <laughs> Run over. Um, yeah, so what do, what do you think of, of Bristol's entry there? Um, definitely. Uh, a lot of marks for effort a lot of marks for the commitment and the energy levels as i said however you know it is a, it is a song and so and you know unless it's an instrumental or something you know we do need to know what what's kind what needs to be said um you know i'm sure that this would have sounded very funny if we could actually hear it so we'll have to see what the others have done yeah so just a, a little bit of extra information about crystals they, they added some extra information with entry they had 10 different vocal tracks four video tracks and a total of 12 people contributing. And if you've got 12 mm -hmm. people contributing, then I think you've chosen the wrong Christmas carol there. There's a much more obvious candidate. Uh, <laughs> that's by the by. Um, yes, so we shall move on to our next entrance. So this is mm -hmm. Eden's Vipers. Let's take a look at what they've submitted. Vipers. There's a guy with a fork. Mm. We Mm -hmm. 
Right. So yeah, they they did they basically did the Taskmaster theme, but just uh adapted it to make it Q UK. Um and they they've gone all out on the kind of like the weirdness. I mean, you know, you, while it loads up, you're just staring at the guy with a fork, so that kind of says it all as well. Yeah. Um yeah. I <laughs> I did like the I did like the little gazoo and the little bling at the end. Uh, that did amuse me and made me smile. Um, and yeah, yeah, I do I do like the kind of dissonance and you know they decide this is what we want to do. We want to make it weird. QK is QK, so it's going to be weird anyway. So we might as well just go all out for it. So yeah, I should kind of like that. I'm yeah, not sure they, if I can listen to it over and over again, but yeah, yeah, they did provide the lyrics as well. It's a, a much shorter uh, composition for this one. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, they, they, in their own words, they said it was like Gregorian chanting. I can kind of see. Yeah. It. yeah. Like, that's the thing like we're doing tasks for qk we are all bored because we can't play like it's very true and you know you probably you, you could hear that it's like oh we're doing tasks for yeah that was pretty good <laughs> pretty decent very nice uh so next up is uh olympian right uh, okay so a little bit of background on this one uh performing in this video we have joe and ben from olympians and yeah. Joe is currently in Athens, as they say. It's yep, about 1,600 miles between them, which I think is the most geographically separate team submission we've had so far. So. Like, I haven't been on the Olympians chat all week because they, they have been talking about this, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I need yeah. to not know anything about it beforehand. So let's go. Well, let's hope this goes down well. In London! <laughs> This lockdown's been bleak. So now every week, the what? QUK clique yeah. has deigned to critique a series of missions to test all our visions. The way our submissions see who pulls out the stops. Will Botch build their trophies? Pray they'll give us low fees. Pin our hopes to jerseys. To take our team on top. Let's all strap in. Go for a spin. See who submits faster. It's all the way. So let's begin the, the QUK Taskmaster. Okay, yeah, like, ah, uh, you know, this is this is the thing. Uh, if 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 I declare the Olympians as the winners, then everyone's going to cry foul. But you know, this this is the clearest one so far. Uh, so you, you know, Ben, ben and uh, Ben and Joe, wh when they did the why what, study London, study in London, do Quidditch in London, all that kind of stuff, they were still talking very fast and stuff. But you could hear every word. Yeah. Uh, so you know, and I like you know, I, I'm 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 a trained performer and all that kind of stuff. So I do like it when someone gets the fundamentals right, and then yes. it just en enhances your experience rather than having to read lyrics afterwards. So I very much appreciate that. They they the. They're still very much kind of um, committing to them. I think it was Sam who put together the video for this as well. Um, yeah, and we got some nice flashbacks to the entrance of the previous tasks in the video. Mm. Good to yeah, yeah. Know where we've come from. To see mm. uh, and I think they're also referencing um, the race that SQC did, uh, where you have to like um, do like a certain number of miles. That's kind of like the. I think it was the circumference of the UK or something. Um, and lines in to John O'Groats, yeah. We, it was basically Olympians, and, and Olympians are really going for it, and it's South Sea just, just nipped them to, uh, to it at the end. Well, that's a perfect segue, because our next entrant is South Sea. Okay. Um, so, uh, in fact, we'll just jump right into it and listen to their entry. Right. So, so it's a little bit tricky to hear exactly what's going on there. Uh, but I can mm. tell you is a uh, bad guy by Billie Eilish uh, remixed with South Sea players playing the Taskmaster theme tune. Now, apparently they played it using a guitar uh, synth and supposedly a bag of salt. And I can't hear the bag of salt uh, explicitly. So I'm guessing it's just peppered throughout the track. Um, See it. 
See, it's like they it's like they merged the Taskmaster theme with Go 8-Bit and then threw in some help to create a weird mix of all three of them. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're going to get sure. the interested is Dave, right? So. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't quite sure if it was like another kind of synthesizer, or if there was like whispering in the background. I was trying to make it out. Um, uh, I think most of the whispering was from the bad guy by Billy Eilish. Right. Um, I don't know if they added any vocals. I think it's probably the most uh, complex of the audio ones. Um, they've obviously done a lot of uh, things and spliced them together and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I get that Taskmaster is weird, but it is entertaining it's supposed to be entertaining um first and foremost yes it's uh somebody somebody told me that it's fundamentally a comedy show but i'm not sure i entirely agree mm. with that. um anyway the next entry is wells and just to note again wells have done the same thing as south sea did in that they just submitted a mp3 file Okay, wow. So this entry was from Alex Harrison of Werewolves, uh, combining ah. elements from Saw at the very beginning, Waluigi uh, in the middle, and at the very end there you might have just caught Chris Thomas's infamous line of commentary uh, in what Alex is describing as a world-first piece of mashup art. Right, it's okay. So because like I'm not an old hand at the sport just yet, you might need to explain the Chris commentary to me. <laughs> Yes, so I, I can't remember what tournament at it was at, unfortunately, but uh, there was uh, Chris Thomas was commentating a game in which uh, Jan McGlyjack was playing, and uh, Jan was playing playing very well, and uh, Chris Thomas's commentary was that he is playing out of his mind, and then this got slow mode and posted on Facebook. And, uh, right, okay. Actually, yeah, I think I actually have. I think I have heard <laughs> heard of it, um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's because like there there's the Wells logo in front of me, and it and it's of like a wolf howling to the moon. But that's sort of like kind of a little bit creepy um, mm -hmm. vibe going throughout the the track. Actually, really, really went with the logo quite well. Um, it was like you kind of being chased through the forest by a bunch of by a pack of wolves. Um, yeah, yeah I, I I really like that that track. Like this audio um this is the the best of them um in in terms of doing doing like they were really committed to doing like the audio and doing it well and stuff and i think it really really came off um yeah so that's all our entrance so uh, uh, we got some uh, little visual reminders of the, the things you've seen there yeah. um so now we get down to the business end mm. of uh, our tournament. So, firstly, uh, Bristol, Vipers, Olympians, Celsius, and Wales all get three points for yep. participating this week. Well, well done, them. And then mm -hmm. next, uh, you'll need to award third place, which will get an additional three points. Who's who's your pick for third place? So, um, I think that for third place, I think um, I'm probably going to go with with vipers i did like the i did like the little lucy kazoo and the little uh, ukulele twing at the end and stuff but but yeah i think i'm gonna go for vipers at third very nice so vipers pick up an additional three points and mm. uh, is your pick for second place who will win five points on top of their three for five? yeah so i ah oh, that's the thing because so basically it's I'll, I'll reveal that it is between well i'll reveal you can probably tell by now but it is it is between olympians and werewolves um and i think that i i enjoyed both of them quite a bit i think that yeah like i think the the, the olympians video did make me laugh did uh, amuse me a lot and stuff um but the audio was for werewolves was really really impressive and that made me smile uh throughout the reaction and stuff and so i think i'm going to give the win to the werewolves so werewolves coming first pick it werewolves up coming first and olympians coming second 
and an Olympian second with the yeah. eight, five points. Mm. So if I have done my sums correctly, do, do, do. so the leaderboard now looks like this. We have Olympians in first place on 24 points. Uh, Bristol and mm -hmm. Vipers are next on 19 points each, tied there. Uh, and then Werewolves shooting up the leaderboard with 16 points. And then uh, Velociraptors and South Sea both on nine. And uh, at the bottom there, not, not heard from them in a couple of weeks, we have Southampton with mm. points. Well, thank you very much, James. I hope you enjoyed all the uh, wonderful theme tunes we got you to, to listen to. Yep, I have enjoyed it. Uh, I think I've just disconnected my headphones there. Give me a sec. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I have enjoyed it. And oh. no, I think, yeah, the Werewolves track really, really did impress me. So, so yeah, I think it's yes. a very fair win. Very good, very good. So we'll see everyone next week for Taskmaster Week 4. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>